What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about sexual assault. Yeah, it happens. And it happens in virtual reality. I had no idea that sexual assault can happen in virtual reality from a person who's not physically there. And, you know, I just want to show my support for anyone who feels sexually assaulted by virtual reality. Because... You know, virtual reality, it's, it's a form of reality. It's virtual. So you're supposed to feel virtually offended and, and virtually wronged. And I understand that. And I wanted to let you guys know that the Beastly Gamer does have sympathy. And I feel real, real compassion for any woman who's been virtually groped by a virtual pervert. And I'll drop a link in the description. Female Gamer says she was sexually assaulted in virtual reality. A female gamer has added to the debate on what consent sexual assault after she detailed her experience being groped in virtual reality by another gamer. Quote, I've been groped in real life, once in a Starbucks in broad daylight. I know what it's like to happen in person, Jordan Bellamere, who goes by the pseudonym to protect her privacy, told CNN Money. The shock and disgust I felt in the game Quiver was not too far off from that. Miss Bellamere wrote in a Medium blog post that she was shooting zombies in the game Quiviar on her brother-in-law's HTC Vive VR system when another player virtually groped her chest. Quote, So, I was shooting down zombies alongside another real-time player named Big Bro 442 she wrote. Quote, Suddenly, Big Pro 442's disembodied helmet faced me dead on, his floating hands approached my body, and he started to virtually rub my chest. Stop! I cried. I must have laughed from the embarrassment and the ridiculousness of the situation. This goaded him on, and even when I turned away from him, he chased me around. He started grabbing and pinching motions near my chest. Emboldened, he even shoved his hands toward my virtual crotch and began rubbing. There I was, being virtually groped on a snowy fortress with my brother-in-law and husband watching. What's worse is that it felt real, violating. This sounds ludicrous to anyone who hasn't stood in a virtual reality ledge and looked down, but if you have, you must start to understand that public virtual chasing and groping happened a full week ago, and I'm still thinking about it in quotes. I'm sorry, guys. There's a lot of real problems that happen in the real world that people... This is the problem, and this is why Donald Trump is going to be the president. People are too politically correct. Every single thing bothers people. First of all, I'm sorry. If you're playing a virtual reality game with someone that you don't know and they start to act immaturely, then you can always back out of the game. You have a decision as a as an adult with a you know consciousness and a mind. You don't have to be there in that situation. The fact that you're there running around, bending over, pretending to be <gasps> scared, let a guy come stick his virtual hand in your ass, it means that you don't mind being there. The points aren't that important. There are women out there who get groped in real life. Now, those are the women I actually am concerned for. You know, you see a girl walking down the street, like there's a guy on the bus who whooped the guy's ass because he was trying to grope a little girl. People like that, I have sympathy for. But this is just plain, simple foolishness. If you're playing a video game and you're in VR, and VR worlds can seem tangible and real. If you're in a VR world and someone walks up to you and says, hey, can I stick my hand down there? You can back out of the game and say, I'm not playing with this fucking freak. You don't have to sit there and take it. People can, in a virtual reality, sometimes not in the real world, but in VR, people can only do to you what you allow them to do. And to me, this is just crazy. Can't believe some people have the nerve to get offended by allowing themselves to be in a situation and pissed off that everyone isn't as mature on the same maturity level as them. Now, this might be a controversial video. Because some people might say, oh, Beastly, she was groped. No, she wasn't. She was in her living room, her brother-in-law's living room, playing a game next to her husband. If anybody groped her, it was them. She was in a video game and her eyes saw something and that's it. It's like watching a movie. If you're watching a film and someone pretends on the movie to reach towards your crotch, do you feel violated? It's not real. There might have been intent on the guy's part, but it's still not real. There's still not enough tangible evidence to call it a real event. That's my thoughts on it. But I'd like to hear your thoughts below. Tell me, have you ever been virtually groped? Have you ever dropped down to your knees and played with a joystick in virtual reality? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up to show support. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. 
and visit BeastlyGamer.com to lend your support to the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, call.